If you are still struggling with consent, just imagine, instead of initiating sex, you're buying them a VK. You say, Hey, would you like a VK? And they go, God, I would love a VK, thank you. <laughs> then you know they want a VK. If you say, Hey, would you like a VK? And they're like, You know, I'm not really sure. Then you can get them a VK, but be aware, they might not drink it. And if they don't drink it, then, and this is the important bit, don't make them drink it. Just because you bought it does not mean you're entitled to watch them drink it. And if they say, No, thank you. Then don't get them a VK. At all. Just don't get them a VK. Don't make them drink a VK. Don't get annoyed at them for not wanting a VK. They just don't want a VK. And if they're unconscious, don't get them a VK. You should put down the VK, get that unconscious person home, and make sure they're safe. If someone said yes to a VK, started drinking it, and then passed out before they finished, don't keep on pouring it down their throat. Take the VK away, and make sure they are safe, because unconscious people don't want VK. Trust me on this. If you can understand how completely ludicrous it is to force people to have a VK when they don't want one, and understand when someone doesn't want a VK, how hard is it to understand when it comes to sex? Whether a VK or sex, consent is everything. And on that note, I'm going to down myself a VK. Yeah. <sighs>